Is it easy to make material transition in Blender? Well, yeah it is. And it works on both EV and cycles, so like and sub, because this will be fun. Starting with a new scene, let's delete everything to add the monkey head from the add menu, or go with a sphere if you want. Then once we're done, you can drop the final material on any object you have, so let's keep it simple at first. Switch to shading from up top, and maybe add a subsurface on the monkey to keep it smooth like a baby butt, then top that with right click and shade smooth the mesh. Now, understanding the process is key here. What we need is two shades on the same object. We can add a material and use the mix shader to combine two principled BSDF nodes. One might be reflective red, while the other is just a copy of the BSDF with different color tune. Now with those two connected to the mix, the factor will take you from one shade to the other while sliding this factor value. So we need to control this value and make it as a gradient from red to white. So just add a gradient texture and connect it to the mix. But we also need a color ramp to control the gradient effect, which we can display clearly if we switch the ramp to constant, just to see that it works. Now, to control this effect with another object, select the gradient texture and hit Control T if the Node Wrangler add-on is enabled. Make the texture coordinate on object, then we can add an empty and assign it as the coordinate object, and that will make the effect transition change by moving or rotating the empty. A transition with a sharp line is not that great to look at. So we can add a noise texture and combine it with the gradient one using a color mix. You can try experimenting with the noise scale based on the object and make the details on 8. The rest can stay on default. We can also copy the mix shader to mix the white color with an emission. This way, we add a light effect along the transition. So add an emission shader to the second mix and plug it on the top, up its strength to around 50 for now. Then plug the color ramp to its factor and let's switch the ramp back to linear. And by adjusting the sliders on the ramp, we can narrow down the emission area to the small line between the two textures. To view this effect at best, Let's add some basic three lights on this monkey or use an HDRI for better shadows. But I'm lighting the scene so we can add bloom to the emission we did. And that can be done by switching the viewport shading from this arrow to always. Then we can go to the compositor or open it on the side, hit the use nodes option, and from the add menu, go to filters and choose glare. Once you drop it on the line, we can switch the glare to bloom type and control its size and the emission strength to get the best result we need. What left is just adjusting the noise scale, the color mix factor, or playing with the color ramp if you want. And remember that you have a flip option on the ramp to make the effect on opposite side. So no need to switch the mix shader inputs and mess the setup you have. With this set of nodes, you can bring any material, like the one I used at the start, or from the kit library, so you can add a cube in the scene, then drop on it this material, and to keep thing clean, just group it with Control g name it something nice, and copy it to your material to replace it with one of the shades you have. You can hit Tab to enter or exit the group and edit the nodes inside. And that's it. Do like and sub if you're still here, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.